1965, I moved over to Apollo, and uh, I, I was heading up the uh, propulsion system over there on the Apollo spacecraft. I had the reaction control and the service propulsion systems, and uh, we handled all the bad stuff, the nitrogen tetroxide, the monomethylhydrazine. The, one of the most traumatic times in my life was Apollo 1. You know, I was on station that night, we were having comm problems, and Gus was all ticked off. And then we were in a simulated count, held it there for a while, and then all of a sudden I hear this, you know, fire. We've got a fire in the cockpit. And I turned to the guy next to me on console and I said, he say fire? And, uh, and then there was a scream. Uh, Get us out, we're burning up. And it was all over. They cut the phone lines almost immediately. I turned around, there were guard. I'd, I'd appeared from nowhere on the gate, on the door, and locked it locked us in. And then they came in and they gathered up every document we had in, in the station, all our procedures and documents, and bust us out to pad 34. And then they you know, gave us tape depositions out there while the crew was still up in, in, the, in the capsule. It was, a, it was a grim night, and then it was a grim, oh, it was 18 months after that, you know, before we really got cracking again with, with a manned program.